<laughs> yeah, you back out of it again. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Mika B. <laughs> First one on. Mika B. <laughs> good morning, lady. On top of the morning, Mika B. Lost my shit. Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Hi, Mika. <laughs> I'm about to say, where's Abigail Grace? Like, I can see her. I know, right? If you had her. <laughs> <laughs> Abby Gabby. Good morning. Nicole good Weber. Good morning. Good morning. Top of the morning, Nicole Weber. Good morning. Good morning. Lewis? Kendra May. Mm. <laughs> Kendra be swapping. She'll be on Periscope right. some mornings and then she'll be on live some mornings. <laughs> I miss Abigail. I went to the hospital when she was born, then you just took her away from me like a delinquent, <laughs> a delinquent pastor. So I'm not hurt. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm okay. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. She said, oh, I'm so sorry. I know, right? <laughs> then on show, you send pictures or nothing like that. It's just like, that's, boy, I swear, I ain't gonna cry. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Oh my God, Miss Lewis, I'm gonna need you to change your name on Periscope because you are absolutely no Kendra. Woods. There is no wood. we don't know Kendra Woods. We absolutely don't. So you need to change your profile, ma'am. You're gonna have to hit that edit button, ma'am, and change that last name. <laughs> absolutely. Top of the morning, everybody. Morning. While we while we waiting on a few more people to get on, man. I do want to say that last night, <laughs> uh, what you call the Ready Answers was awesome, man. It was. It was absolutely it awesome. It was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. I wish everybody would have got a chance to uh, actually get on and uh, ask their questions. I'd encourage you even right now. What you do? Huh? Good morning, Teresa. Good morning. Um. Uh, I would encourage you even right now, man. If you got some questions or something like that. Good morning, Ken. Uh, while we rolling. What, well, Ken? Well, you got Ken Webb on this thing, too? Yeah. Nicole, man, man why <laughs> not? God, dog. Boy, yeah. Ken is good people. Thank you for the hearts on Periscope. Thank you so much. Keep I be on trying tapping to, that screen. I be trying to find uh, nicknames for everybody. I think I'm going to call Ken Smooth Doug. Oh, I was like K-Dub. <laughs> K-Dub, Smooth Dub, man. <laughs> smooth Dub, K-Dub, either one of them, man. I just, I like, <laughs> Ken's just smooth, man. He don't really get too high, he don't get too low, he just... <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tramika, Miss Norwood, good morning. That's old, that, that's Barksdale right there. It is. Right on. <laughs> Tramika, Miss Norwood on this thing. Good morning, she Tramika. No, sir, Pastor <laughs> Nicole. Right on. Tara, good morning. <laughs> Newly engaged. Miss <laughs> Tara Dells. Getting ready Tara. to do that wedding in May. <laughs> Grateful to God for that, man. Thank Glad to man. see y'all moving forward. Awesome, 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 man. Again, we want to encourage everybody, those that's watching on Periscope. Uh, keep sending those hearts. As soon as we stay, see hearts not going up, we turn it off. Those that are watching on Facebook Live, please remember that next week we're switching over to the Marriage Builders. The Facebook Marriage Live. Builders, yes. So if you have not like liked the, the Marriage Builders page, the Marriage Builders, yeah. go and like that right now, man. So when we switch next week, you can still keep following us. Uh, on the marriage builders, the marriage mm -hmm. builders like that page. Live right on, man. right on. Please so make like sure you're a part of that, man. As so soon you, as can, you can, yeah. Make sure you're a part of that, so you can keep rolling with us. Amen. Uh, again, if you got questions while we while we rolling, something you don't get, something you don't understand, even a comment or whatever, please make sure you put it in. Type it in. That's the beautiful thing about this live stuff, man. It can be interactive. Amen. And if we can answer your questions while we rolling, we'll definitely do it. So. Um, man, this is awesome. This is awesome. So, um, you ready to roll, I good am. pastor? I am. Derek, what up? I am, I am, I am. It's four people. I'm missing somebody. Somebody else. We don't know. <laughs> Dr. Brown. Amen. Tim B. 
So we're going to get to rolling this morning. Good morning, Periscope. Good morning, Facebook Live. Know that we love you guys, and we're thankful for y'all joining us this morning. Absolutely. We have a topic that's stemming from, kind of, sort of, stemming from last night's um, Ready Answers. Um, and we titled it, Boundary Setting in Your Relationship. Boundary setting in your relationship. Um, it stemmed from a couple of questions that we we received on last night, and it all is centered around other people um, being in your relationship or being a part of your relationship or trying to be um, in your relationship. So first off, before we get started, I want to define boundaries. Y'all that uh, have uh, go to Impact, y'all know that I define everything because I don't want anyone to be in the dark when it comes to um, certain words. So. The definition of a boundary that I found is something that shows where an area ends and all, and another begins. Something that shows where an area ends and another begins. Um, limits that define acceptable behavior. Um, a point or limit that things become different or it indicates or, or a point a point or limit that indicates where two things become different. Amen. So that is the definition of a boundary. So what we found in our own marriage and in our own relationship is you absolutely have to set boundaries when boundaries. it comes to other people. You have to set boundaries because if you do not set boundaries, then people will come in and try to um, control or, uh, or, or move within your, uh, your relationship, set rules and all kinds of things. So you absolutely have to set boundaries. We found in our own marriage um, that... You know, if we didn't set boundaries with family because it was family and we was just like, you know, you, you think that people will automatically get it because now I'm married or, you know, now I'm in a relationship or something. But that is not always true. That's that's an absolute falsehood. It is. It is. It's, you're, and if you think so, you're delusional. Especially when you've been knowing people longer than you've been knowing the person that you're Man, with. absolutely. You know, because they, they feel they like they're invading in, on your territory. I've been here the longest. Absolutely. I actually heard that in yeah. my own relationship, in my own marriage. Yeah. I've been here longer than him. Yeah. So, you know, I am more important or, you know, I should be able to have a say in what you do. And I'm like, oh, no, no, sweetie, no. You, hey man, and, and here's the thing, man. Uh, again, we because we tried it, we even tried it in pastor. There's sometimes you just think, okay, they'll just get it. Yeah. Okay, they'll just understand that mm -hmm. it's just not the same no more. But every time we thought people would just get it, it just got worse. It, yeah. So mm -hmm. you you have to verbalize. You have yeah. to verbally state whatever your boundaries may be, whatever they are, whatever it's going to be. Mm -hmm. You gotta say it. Yeah. Don't leave it to chance. Don't leave it to imagination. Don't hope somebody get it so you don't have to hurt their feelings. And if and if they take it and their feelings get hurt, then they just don't understand the parameters of your relationship. Yeah. Well, go ahead. And, and you can't always make people understand. Nah. That's the thing that I found out in my marriage. You 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 as bad as you want for people to get it. This is my relationship. This is how it is. This is how it's going to be from this moment, this moment on. You cannot make or force people to understand, you know, the parameters of your relationship. Okay, before I got married, uh, it was okay for you to come to my house at any time. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm married yeah. and we live together and that's not okay. But it, it's um, absolutely <laughs> not okay. Uh, I'll give you several reasons. Number one, we like to walk around our drawers. Oh my God. <laughs> I, 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 I might just answer the door in my drawers if you come oh up on the <laughs> oh Um <laughs> That might be uh, the Bible calls it ministry. <laughs> so <silly>. we, <laughs> we might be in the middle of ministry. <laughs> and I, I, hey, uh, you, you might just get what you get. But again, <laughs> y'all. Say true that. <laughs> hey. So it's it's parameters. Hey, you I, you yes. have to absolutely verbalize it. You have to say, look, now that I'm married, now that I'm in this relationship, now that we are living and cohabitating, uh, you're going to have to make you're going to have to call before you come over. You just can't pop up like it used to be when I was single mm -hmm. or when I was a bachelor uh -huh. or whatever. You're going to have to set some uh, boundaries. There are some yeah. things uh, when it comes to conversations. Um, you, you're not, you're not allowed to know all my business. Yeah. 
because this is the only person that I'm I actually have some kind of accountability to legally. Yeah, uh, is, is that making any sense? It is. Oh, y'all cool? I was laughing. Tara said, no, Pastor, don't do it. He <laughs> was laughing. Oh, okay, yeah, Teresa it was. She said, not an image. I need this early. Well, you don't, you, <laughs> hey, I don't know what y'all do in y'all relationship. But, uh, in, in our, we have earned the right. <laughs> so, but do you, I mean, I, and I, and we, and we laughing about it, but it's just so true, man. If you don't set boundaries, if you don't let people know where a thing ends, uh, or where they let where where it cuts off at the, from a biblical standpoint, the Bible says that a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Mm -hmm. That means once I've cleaved to my wife, my obligation to you uh, as a my obligation as a husband trumps my obligation as a son. You know what I'm gonna say this because yes, the Bible stated specifically mother and father, but if you <laughs> people okay. So don't think that because it didn't say your friend, or your uh, cousin, your sisters and your brothers, or your homegirl, uh, yeah, yeah, that or your it don't partner. mean you too. Yeah. Because if it's talking about your, it's, if it says the mother and the father, the two people that came together to give you, give birth to you, yeah. you know, to create you, then abs everybody else just fall in line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I, okay, and I'm going to say this. I had a friend, girl, and she she would talk about how uh, it was wrong for a parental to do stuff, it, to invade on a relationship. You know what I'm saying? But it was okay for her to do it. And I'm like... No, so no. So wait, you told me my mama was wrong for saying what she said, but it's okay for you to... No, no. that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't bend the rules for you. <laughs> If it yeah. says your mother and your father, you know what I'm saying? Then then everybody else just just it's just that's a given. You would hope. You know. <laughs> you know, but some people just don't get it and that's why you're gonna have to have those, those tough conversations. We had a question last night and and I don't know if she's actually on right now, but this um this particular person had a, a very nasty encounter with a, a mother in law. Uh, to the point of um, her mother-in-law actually getting child protective services in and having her kids taken away from her at birth. Like she gave birth and then the child protection came and took the kids. Yeah. And um, that hurt. Absolutely. And so now the, uh, the, the relationship is trying to get on the men, but you know, you can't, you can't cancel out those feelings and, and, the reason why we're talking about it is because there has to be some boundaries set in order for the relationship to actually heal, which means I probably can't be in your presence for long periods of time until God completes his work in me. So I, that's, that's just the truth. So I have to set some boundaries. Uh, we, we, you know, I, I can, I can deal with you in teaspoons. I'm working on it. I'm working on my healing. I'm working on getting better. I'm working on forgiving you completely with my whole heart. But in order for that process to take place, this is what I need to happen. Because yeah. I didn't do it. You did it. You made it wrong. So you're going to have to deal with my boundaries or my parameters or whatever my rules are in order for this thing to get right. Absolutely. So um, that that it's, you you have to set some kind of boundaries because you don't want outside interference to deal with something that God has ordained. He didn't ordain for you, your friends, mm -hmm. your homegirls, your cousins, your uncle, and everybody else to be a part of your marriage. Mm -hmm. He said it was you and her, you and her, or you, her and you, or however that works out. So uh, set some boundaries, man. Now, re respectfully set boundaries. Absolutely. You know Don't be disrespectful when you set your boundaries now if it just come to that you know what i'm saying because yeah, like some, said, people some people just don't get just it don't get it you yeah. know what i'm saying but you would hope and we all would hope that people that people in our lives would just get it look this is my marriage yeah you know what i'm saying I, I love you you know i have love in my heart for you but this is my marriage this is the relationship that i'm in right now yeah and this is how it is you know but you have to you know you have to draw that line you have to put draw the line in the sand because the line can get easily blurred you know what I'm saying with some people like if you started off doing a thing like in the beginning of your marriage it was okay or in the beginning you know it was okay for that person to just pop up and yeah they had a key to your house you know what I'm saying they just walked in whenever they wanted to you know um they called it in any time of the night it's two o'clock in the morning and they they ringing your phone you know what I'm saying yeah. you gotta and after a while you know the line will get blurred and then they'll be like okay it was okay then why is it not okay now? Yeah. My life is changing. You know, we've added kids. 
Um, I'm working a different job. My hours may be different. Um, my kids go to school, you know. Oh, oh here's um, a good one. My spouse got to go to work. Uh, tonight. My husband just don't like it. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> my wife don't like that. We're not in agreement about yeah, we, we, we. She just don't like it. So <laughs> if she don't like it, there are things that me and her do that me and you can't do. I don't, yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I think it's as simple as that. So, um, because, and then sometimes, and I say this even when setting boundaries, enforce those boundaries. Mm -hmm. Because again, sometimes people just don't get it. So, if you know one of your boundaries is when it comes to our relationship, please do not come to our house unannounced. If there's somebody knocking on the door and they have come unannounced, do not answer the door. <laughs> he'll do it. I do it too. Though. I, 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 I sit there and look at you. <laughs> I guess you thought I was playing. I see I, your cars here. Why you answer the door? Your cars here. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> well, what, now we won't do that to our parents. That's different. Like if my mother in law, my yeah, mom, I mean, you know, we're not gonna so, do that to our parents. But she, they gotta know they brought it. Hey. <laughs> but they, they, they give us the courtesy of doing that. Now, if yeah. our parents can respect our boundaries. Absolutely, our friends and, they, and everybody else have that come along yeah, with. They have they, to respect the boundaries too. Respect them, there so. are some things that other people just don't know, or don't don't need to know about. When we start talking about financial matters, you don't need to know what's going on in my house. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about uh, the, the 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 parenting of my children, um, I set my boundaries when it comes to that. You <laughs> don't need to know about that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I mean, you you I mean you because if you again, y'all, we keep saying it, but if you don't set these boundaries. Mm -hmm. That people will just feel like they have the right to interfere or come into private areas of your relationship, mm -hmm. things that you hold uh, near and dear to the two of you. And and if you don't set those boundaries, just because we were friends prior to this, well, we're ma I'm married now, yeah. or I'm in this relationship now. And if you don't respect this, then that means you don't respect me. You don't respect the change that I'm going through. You don't respect me trying to elevate myself, and that means you just want me to be where you want me to be for your convenience. Mm -hmm. And that that that's gonna put a real uh, gap in our friendship. So, you, we, hey, when we set these boundaries, a lot of times when you set boundaries, you find out who your real friends are. Yeah. Those that actually like you for you or want to be around you just for you. Uh, you cannot take on the responsibility of another living human being without having to have some compromise. Yeah. And once that other person takes on another responsibility, you have to know that there's going to be some compromise. We might not be able to hang out like we used to. We might never do be, be able to do the same things we used to. We might not even be able to hold the same conversations that we used to have. We might we used to probably just talk reckless about women. But I'm married, and that ain't cool yeah, with me no more. <laughs> yeah, I came from a woman. So, I mean, we, we might not be able to have those conversations once my eyes are in light. What did I say? As parents, we need to know our place when it comes to our children's marriage if you love your children. Absolutely. And that's coming from Pastor Ronnie's mom. Yeah. You know? That, and that's, yeah, that, I mean, that's that's the God honest truth, man. And, I, and I'm grateful that, you know, um, these are conversations that me, even me and my mom had to have. And I'm glad my mom chimed in. I chimed in on that because that's just the true thing, man. Sometimes you just have to have those conversations. And with my mom uh, being married and, and having her relationship, I didn't just go over there unannounced. That's Sometimes true. we did. Yeah, it, but I they mean, allowed it was us rare. To. Yeah, it, it, was, it was rare. <laughs> but you know, that's the God forbid. That, yeah, well, let's let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> Lord have mercy, my head. oh Lord. <laughs> You'd have been scarred. Yeah, my mom, <laughs> my mom is a Virgin Mary. The Holy Spirit hovered over her, and I was conceived. <laughs> and anybody that tried to tell me different, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to set boundaries. You have to set boundaries. And two, you have to allow your friends and the people that you love to set boundaries when, with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can't expect to set boundaries with other people. Hey, when it comes to my relationship, this is what you got to do. But then you don't allow them to do the same thing. Hey, you my friend. Yeah. Don't be a hypocrite. Now here, and I'll say you this know? too, when it comes to set boundaries, please make sure that the two of you are in agreement about yeah, the boundaries. Absolutely. Because a lot of times what will happen is uh, I'll set the boundary and I never tell her. And then the boundary is broken and I'm mad and upset and she's trying to figure out what's wrong with me. Yeah. And so make sure that when you sit down and talk about these boundaries, the both of you are absolutely 100% in agreement about whatever those boundaries are. Mm -hmm. That way you won't have one person. If, it, if it's supposed to be a united front, 
but uh, we ain't united, then so it's going to cause conflict. Absolutely. It's going to cause conflict. So let's sit down and talk about it. Hey, you know what? I'm used to my brother being over here uh, at such and such a time and all that stuff. Well, it don't it, it don't agree with her. Okay, well, baby, let's sit down and talk about. Let's come to a healthy compromise. Yeah, let's, compromise. let's come to a healthy compromise and figure mm -hmm. out what this boundary is actually going to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, your brother can come over here, but at this time, he's going to have to leave. And you got to be able to communicate that, that, that to your brother. And you can't be wishy-washy about it. You can't be like... <sighs> That's how people get confused when it comes to our relationship. Absolutely. You know, because you, 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 you say it, but then you don't really mean it. And, you know, you, you let them slip yes, every now man. and then. And so and then, then they like... You looking at them and then they face... <laughs> every time they come over. <laughs> and you like, man, we talked about this, and that's why it's important to just tell the truth. Likes and dislikes. We talk about it. We gonna you gonna hear a lot about that on September the tenth when we talk about building the empire. You are gonna hear a, a lot of a lot of stuff that we're talking about. It's just gonna probably be a lot more in depth. Mm -hmm. But um, that's why you had uh, uh, we said all the time. Forever is a long time to be with somebody you can't tell the truth to. Mm -hmm. So if if you don't like uh, my brother hanging out over here, or if my daddy get on your nerves, or you can only take him in teaspoons or whatever, mm -hmm. be open enough to be able to have a conversation to see if we can't come to some kind of compromise. But if my daddy going to be a butthole about it and make me make a choice, then that's going to be an easy choice because I've cleaved to her. I didn't cleave to him. So that's, that's, that's the reality of it. And sometimes it's harsh. Sometimes we don't like to have those conversations and all that. But sometimes they have to be had in order to keep peace. Amen. Pastor said something last night um, and read answers that made a whole lot of sense. you got to determine where you want peace at the most. Mm -hmm. Do you want it over here or do you want it in your home? If you do, you want it over here mm -hmm. in these streets, or do Got you it. want it in your home? I prefer to have peace in my home, so I take care of whatever I need to take care of out here to make sure that I maintain peace in my home. When she said it, I wanted to give her an offering. I think I might let her go get her some shoes, or something like that. Yay! Okay, some cheap shoes. So, <laughs> no, Pay less. I don't do that. Pat um, so another Black thing I wanted to quickly. <laughs> 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 another ah. thing I wanted to address really quick about boundary settings is we talking about people outside of your marriage, outside of your relationship, but there also has to be boundaries within your relationship. Yeah. Okay, so now, okay, so this is why courting is very important. You have to know that you know what the other person's um, um, weak points, their strong points, you know, where, what, what is... Um, places where they may have had some tragedy or yeah. some, you know, some hurt or harm. Okay, let's let's uh, keep it plain and simple. Okay, oh, yeah. so before I got with Pastor, I had been um, in in, uh, in situations where I had been, I've been molested, I had been raped, I Absolutely. had been, you know, uh, I had been put to, through the ring a couple of times. Yeah. So uh, when it came to um, the bedroom, there were certain things that were uncomfortable for me. And I had to, I couldn't do, you know, well, y'all get it. But yeah. I had to set boundaries. We had to set boundaries when it came to that because what you don't want to do is you don't want to open old wounds. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't want to make the person uncomfortable or, you know, put them in a headspace where they, that you're being made that to you feel did, like uh, what yeah. they did yeah, to yeah, that absolutely. person. So there are boundaries. Uh, when we argue, you know. Um, certain places that we don't go. Don't When we argue, there are certain things that if you do not bring up in, a, in an argument because... I'm 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 gone. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Parentals are a definite no no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The way we were raised are a definite no no. You know, yeah. there are certain areas, there's boundaries. You have to have boundaries within your relationship. If we are mad, we have to take a time out the because I can't I can get really reckless with my mouth. Um, she can so I need a break. Hey, wait, hold on before okay, this is the boundary. Before she you can. before you take me there. You know what I'm saying? You about to cross that line. You about so to cross the line. Let let me give you a couple of minutes. Give me a couple of minutes, and then we'll reattack this later. Or uh, in the famous in words space. of the the famous rapper Lil O, bag 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 bag. <laughs> give me fifty feet. You know, so we have we, <laughs> we absolutely have boundaries within our marriage. You know, even when it comes to spending money. I have been a girl since high school. I've always gotten my nails done. You know what I'm saying? So she said, yes, she can, <laughs> Teresa. Uh. <laughs> but I have been a girl where I've always gotten my nails done since high school. That has been a thing for me. That is my relaxation thing. And he knows he cannot take that from me because taking that from me might cause some things to go bad. Um, so, <laughs> but... <laughs> and, and, 
Here, here's the thing. I don't mind. You don't mind. Because mm -hmm. I have a thing, too, that I've been doing um, since high school. Madden. And that's Madden. Madden. Yeah. And 2K. <laughs> So I don't compromise when it comes to that, but mm -hmm. she accommodates that for me. I, these these are things that we do to keep ourselves going. Yeah. But uh, when when we when that oh, when it comes to go ahead go ahead. Uh, there's a video. There's a couple of videos. There's this video where this girl took this guy's PlayStation and threw it in the pool. <laughs> or the video where the man um, ran over his son's video, video game. games with the lawnmower. Okay, I that is a boundary line that I refuse to cross. God, I'm not doing it. Yeah, because... nah, don't do that. Oh shoot, I missed it. Whoever that was, re resubmit. Uh, I didn't pop up, it. golly. Re resubmit but, that. Whoever that was, that just sent that last on Periscope. Please resubmit that. But there are but, boundary lines that you just do not cross. Yeah, and you have to know those boundary lines, but. You have the other person has to tell the person that they're in a relationship with what the boundary Boundaries lines are. are. If you want to bring out the absolute worst in me, yeah, do this. Yeah. If you don't want that, don't don't do this. cross this line. You know what I'm saying? Because, because I mean, and then and don't, and don't be don't cross the line just to see how far you can get away with stuff. I don't want to know. Yeah, I just don't want to know. Yeah, so don't, 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 because some people just, just step the line and say, okay, this your boundary. I'm okay, pushing. I'm a pushing to see, mm -hmm. and it's because you might be addicted to chaos, and, and and you might just be one of those people that just like to see people on edge because you any reaction is a sign of affection to you, whether it be positive or negative. I would rather my reactions and be positive. Like that. Yeah, absolutely. You say a question that friends or family should never ask: How is your marriage going? Yeah. Yes, indeed. I, I mean, it's it's the truth. I know. I, I if you volunteer information to me, that's fine. And we pastor a church, y'all. Mm -hmm. If people volunteer information to us or say they need to talk to us, that's when we find out how things are going. Item, other than that, we assume everything is fine. Now it's we ain't crazy. Random, out of the blue. Yeah, now no, we ain't crazy. We can tell when y'all the fuss and argue all the way to church. Mm -hmm. We know it. We can tell. Cause I like I said yesterday, your whole hand's different. When you're in love, your whole hand's all affectionate. Like, girl, come here. You know, I'm your covering, you my you know. <laughs> but then when y'all ain't yeah, y'all ain't feeling each other it's like this. <laughs> Who I wish you heard of pray. Because that boundary line had been crossed. <laughs> Absolutely. Something has been said that has mm -hmm. ticked the other person off. So there's just some areas that you just don't go. Um, not even just in marriage, just in relationships. It's just some things that you don't touch on. Like even right now, my grandmother been passed since 2011. That is a very sensitive subject for me because yeah. I am, I am, I love my mama. There, my mama on, on this thing right now. My mama know I love, I love my mama. Anything I can do to help. Uh, I do it, whatever it is. I don't care what it is. But I was a grandmother's boy to my heart. I always was under my grandmother. So even right now, if you say the wrong thing about my grandmother, is yeah, that's yeah, that's that's gonna be rough. Yeah, I don't want to know what that's like. So yeah, I'm that's good. pretty difficult. So you know, <laughs> I just because I just have random moments when me and her talking, and it could be we didn't even talking. We talking about something else, and I'd be like, you know what? I love my grandmother. He do. <laughs> cause it be, cause you know some things just trigger those thoughts, but that that just certain boundaries that you just you just don't you just don't go there, man, and don't just push people buttons oh. just to just to okay. push them. Random question: How do you handle a person with too many boundaries? Well, uh, too many boundaries mean that that's not that that had that person hadn't taken enough time to heal. They've been through some tragedy. Yeah, because some hurt, yeah, some pain. you. This is the thing that we and a lot of times um. There's a, a lot of churches, old churches, have what they call bylaws. And a lot of these bylaws are set up or based on the fact of old hurts or old things that happen that they don't want to see happen again in their lives. Mm -hmm. And because of these old bylaws, now you have a new pastor that comes in with new set ideas, new rules or new things that, that God ha ha actually wants to do. But because you've been hurt. And because you've had all these bad things happen to you, and you got all these boundaries set up, yeah, you right. are now missing out on what God is trying to do at this particular moment and season of your life. Yeah, so if you got a person that has a whole lot of boundaries, you need to be able to explain to me why you have this boundary up. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. Tell, okay, you, you have this thing in place where you don't like this. Can you tell me why? 
because I might not be the person that caused it. I actually might be the person that can actually heal it if mm -hmm. you open me up to it yeah. or allow me in that area. Mm -hmm. So you, you got to ask yourself and you got to be honest with yourself and ask yourself those tough questions. Why? Why do I have this boundary up? Why did I put this Bye, boundary Teresa. up? Why is it there? Have a great day. Right on, Teresa. See you later. But then the other thing, too, on the other side of that, yeah, you, the question, that the the conversations have to be had. Absolutely. And they ha you have to be uh, transparent from the beginning because you have that person that has all these boundaries, they have to afford the other person the time to, to figure out if they could really handle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of times that's what we find out where people are not truthful in the beginning because they know they come with a lot of baggage. Absolutely. They know they have a lot of hurt and, and they don't want this person to leave. But later on, it makes the um it makes the relationship chaotic and turmoilic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be, you have to be, you have to give that person, that other person, the opportunity to know or to, to figure out if they can really handle all of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if they can, then you're in for a great life. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And that might be the person, like Pastor Ryan said, the one that's going to help you heal. Yeah. But you have to heal. That person has to heal because if they have a lot of boundaries, yeah. they done been through a lot they in They done been through a lot. And that's just the that truth. They, they, they've had, had a lot, lot of boundary lines. But, then it's, and but it's not fair to the new person or the new situation <laughs> if you're going to maintain these boundaries. Now, there are certain boundaries. If there are boundaries like... Um, I'm abstaining from sex until I get married. That's, but hey, yeah. that yeah, that's that's understandable. And if you can't handle it, then go on to the next person that'll let you get it. Yes. You know, if there's some, you know, but if you got <laughs> if if you got boundaries like I um I don't talk to men that's five foot four, cause uh they tend to be liars. Well, wait a minute, that don't. <laughs> Yeah, that don't make no sense. You, yeah, make that make that make sense. Sometimes there are so many boundaries because the other person has caused so many issues. Just yeah, thoughts. Yeah, absolutely, and, and that yeah. could be the case. Yeah. And but that's that that those unresolved issues are the things that we need to be talking about. Yes, because there there are certain areas of your life that the other person is going to have to have access to. But if you've cut me off based on unresolved issues or even unresolved issues that we've had, mm -hmm. then sometimes we got to get a third party in. Sometimes we got to get another person in because we got to get this thing resolved. I shouldn't. I didn't get married to seventy-five percent of her. Mm. I got married to a hundred percent of her. That's why that whole uh, marriage is fifty-fifty. That's the most retarded thing I ever heard in my life. It's one hundred, one hundred. And I and if you're gonna give me half of you, uh, how much do the other half cost? And who getting the other half? Who getting the other half? <laughs> you know, who, then, what's, uh, what's going on with the other 50%? So I do want to add this. If you're on the side where the person that you're with has a lot of boundaries or the person that you're in a relationship has a lot of boundaries, you have to make a conscious decision whether you're strong enough to, to be the person that that person is looking for. You know what I'm saying? Because they're probably looking for somebody strong and that can handle it. If you can't handle it, you have to be honest with yourself. Yeah. You have to be honest with them. Now, Try to work through it first to see if maybe some of the walls can come down and then you can get to a place where you can handle it. But if you just realize that it's just way too much for you, it's yeah. not for you, then you have to do what's best for you and that person. Because yeah. if you can't handle it, then all y'all doing is this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And because it's they are head. who they are and you are who you are. And and, and, you know? and obviously uh, each person is not willing to compromise. So that's yeah. some, them, those are serious questions. If you're in the luxury of, of right now having the luxury of dating, these are conversations that you need to have. Yes. You have, you need to have these conversations. And if even if you're married, if you find yourself constantly getting into arguments or you're constantly in a place where it seems like you every time you do this certain thing, you always send this other person over the edge. Maybe that's a boundary that you set up that you didn't inform the other person about and y'all need to talk about that. Now if it's just something like if you just you always leaving your socks on the floor. Now if it's if it's socks and they like that's something deeper than 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 yeah, <laughs> it's socks like yeah. So yeah. socks made you cuss me out every time. Every time you see my socks right there, you they, that's nah. That's, it's, it's way deeper than that. Come on, man. That's the question. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what you? Yeah, no. Nah, what you? What, cause some people, what they, what y'all got? Some of y'all got it. There's a prescription for that. Yeah, we gonna we gonna have to get you on the right meds. Yeah, some people just thing. are OCD extremes. You yeah, know what I'm oh, there's some people that yeah, it just at some just point know. you gotta start counting right. It's it, just socks. Like, yeah, come on now, like yeah, it, it, pick them up. Yeah, I'm not such. A, I ain't gonna lie to you because sometimes, hey, when I get out, when I'm getting ready to go to bed. I just don't go in that side. I know that. You know, my side is neat and yeah, together. It ain't that my side ain't neat. It's just when I go to bed. 
Just Wherever the file they fall, I am, I'm sleeping. <laughs> so I'm finna go lay down. Petty things can ruin a relationship. Absolutely. James, what up, man? You right, brother. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. And you gotta understand when you're being petty. And when, you, and when you're dealing with the supreme petty person. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> sarcasm can sometimes be taken overboard. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, sometimes sometimes sarcasm can be a cover up for your truth. So you can you oh. can try to cover it up and being petty or whatever, that's but real. that's just how you really feel. That's real. So um that's just like this that's, that's almost along the same lines of uh you get the truth out of a drunk person. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can get the truth out the truth out of somebody's pettiness. So um hey, you, you got you gotta be mindful of all that stuff, man. But Man, we'd have jumped in we'd have jumped in this thing, man. Everybody it's on and over. jumping questions. We we all <laughs> all over the time, man. Thank y'all so much, man, for kicking it with me and my wife. Um th this whole marriage builders thing, man, I think I believe God's hand is on it. I believe he's breathing on it. And we're gonna keep rolling, man. So every morning, uh from eight thirty to nine, we try to keep it at nine, but much like a Baptist service, everybody get to talking and, and chiming in <laughs> and we try to we keep it going. So um we love y'all, man. We appreciate y'all, man, for giving us this time out of y'all mornings. Again, we wake up, um, we we wake up excited to be able to talk to y'all and to know that there's people that that's actually listening to something that we have to say. We don't take yeah. it for granted. We pray Absolutely. about it. We get before God about it before we actually uh, get on here and start talking to y'all, man. And we pray that something that we say is a blessing to y'all, man. We got a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. That we want y'all to know about. Amen. What? But first off, uh, Facebook Live, please switch over to the Marriage Builders. Please the like the Marriage, marriage Builders. The, ma the as Pastor Ryan, the, the Marriage T -H -E Builders. The T H E Marriage Builders. In Texas, they taught they taught us that it's the. It's not the. The is T H E E. It's the marriage. <laughs> I'm had. I had a petty moment. Yeah, um, yeah. But she, you know, you, you heard what she said in Texas. <laughs> I That's think in order, yep. Yeah, in order so. to graduate, they read the alphabet chart, <laughs> and if you don't miss your alphabet, you get to graduate. So. That's Texas for you. Oh, they okay. do it. Okay. Everything big in Texas, so, uh, so they the, got big letters. <laughs> the marriage builders. <laughs> <laughs> Please go and like that page uh, because we'll be live broadcasting from that page come next Tuesday. Right on, right on. Hey James, while you on here, man, go to the marriage builders, man, because we want to keep talking to you, man. That's my brother. That's my brother. That's my big brother, man. I love you, man. Appreciate you for hopping on, too, bro. Straight up. <laughs> I know, Tanya. I had a moment. I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She did. I need the address for running to the church. 2403 no. Harris Street. Yes. Somebody please type that in for me. 2403 Harris Street. Right in the heart of the Sonya Quarters, man. James, we love... Love to have you there, man. You know, Mama love you, man. She she talk about you. She miss you. We ain't, she ain't seen you in a minute, man. So come through, man. Every Sunday at ten thirty. Every Wednesday at seven o'clock, man. I know she love to see you. She on Periscope, so she watching. So uh, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, twenty four three Hair Street. Amen. So uh, get that in. Somebody on Facebook Live, type that in for me. Twenty four three Hair Street. And too, but, we have a uh, Impact Christian Center has a Facebook page as well, and you, our, our the website is www.impactcity.org. Amen. So we got a lot of stuff happening, <laughs> man. If you, if y'all if y'all don't date like you should, uh, we got this man thing coming up. Uh, Quirky Arts on the twenty seventh. Mm -hmm. um, Forty dollars a couple. If you can spend forty dollars. Uh, a hundred and eighty, ninety dollars on some LeBrons. Then you can spend forty dollars on building your marriage and making sure you and your girl have a good time. I don't Amen. think that's, I don't think that's bad. So uh, we got the thing coming up on a, a Quirky Arts on the twenty-seven, forty dollars per couple. Come, we painting and, and, and sipping on some Together. of the finest, finest of sparkling cider. If y'all got wine, then that's what y'all do. We does, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> also too. Uh, September the 10th, Building an Empire. It's almost like Love and Happiness 2.0 or 2.5. Um, Holy Spirit lays something on our heart. Me and Pastor want to share with y'all, Building an Empire. If you're interested in doing that in your marriage, Building an Empire, um, come kick it with us. Come holler at us. Um, September the 10th from 10 to 12. Two hours, man. And it's $15 per couple, uh, per couple at the door. Wait till the door. Pay a little bit more. You have to pay 20 at the door. Uh, so... Uh, come holler at us. Come kick it with us, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is it. We had this marriage retreat coming in March, but you'll hear more information about that in the days to come. Amen. In the days to come. Also, to uh, Pastor Latoya, uh, House of Victory Wear. Go to their Facebook page. Order uh, 20 shirts until I sent you. Hallelujah. 
House of Victory. House of Victory. Go to that man. Get those t-shirts. Tattoo to save. You tattoo to save. You need to have that shirt on while you working out. While you going to the grocery store. Whatever. If you uh, if you know you ain't no quitter, you need to have that no quitzilla shirt on ASAP. Amen. Get that in your in your closet ASAP. <laughs> ASAP. So we love y'all, man. Let's pray real quick before we get out of here. Father, thank you so much. Thank you, Father, for this day that you have given us. We're live. We're breathing. Yes, we have the activities of our limbs. And if you've given us another day in this earth, there's another opportunity that we have to be better people, yes, better husbands, better wives, better fathers, better mothers. And we thank you for thank it. You, Help us to get better every day. Father, continue to cover everybody that's watching this uh this broadcast, either live or rebroadcasting it. God, we appreciate it. We don't take these uh views and viewers for granted, Father. To help us to continue to be a light in this world continue to strengthen them help them to be better people even right now and father just have your way we appreciate you god and we give you all the praise honor and glory for this day that you have made we thank you and we love you we give you all praise honor and glory in jesus name, in jesus name. Amen. amen amen love y'all man we so appreciate y'all again um kick it with us uh like tuesday to friday yep uh, go to the YouTube page if you missed anything This will be on here so you can go back and kick it If you know you got some friends that need to hear this Share it with them man Share it with them Get it out there uh, so we can see I said it yesterday and I'm not apologetic about it We need to see more positive black love in the world Amen. More positive black marriages More positive black relationships I'm not apologizing for that statement I believe that it's true yeah. So um, let's do that Let's be. If you're not part of the solution you're part of the problem Yes indeed so kick it with us, man. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And uh, how you doing? You get you start talking fast when you get excited. I do right. I <laughs> as know, we always right? end all of our broadcasts, as I always end it. Right on. I love you as on the Pastor L can. Peace. Hashtag is bigger than me. Hashtag I'm an impact toy. Hashtag move forward. Hashtag no review mirrors. Hashtag this is worth fighting for. And the biggest hashtag of them all. Don't just live. Yeah. Make an impact. Love we'll y'all. Highlight y'all later, man. Love y'all so much. Till next time. It be later. Bye bye. It be later.